Many of us think about it. I know we're not allowed to talk about it, but I know I thought about it for many years before I was so tired and I couldn't see a way out. And at the age of 25, I finally given up and planned and acted and tried to take my own life. And on chance alone, I survived to be able to tell the story. And even past that period, severe depression is not just a diagnosis I have, it's a daily reality. And even in those circumstances, with how much work it is, if someone would come and tell me right now that if you push this button, your depression will go away forever, I don't think I would press that button. And the best way I can explain why is using an animal analogy. I know one surprising coming from the forest child, but for me, the world only made sense if I look at it through the lens of nature. Let's just say you want to protect the deer. You really like Bambi. So you want to remove the predators out of the ecosystem. You want to take the wolves out. Well, removing the wolves, despite of it sounding like a good idea for the deer, what it turns out is that it's extremely harmful for the deer population because the deer without the predators will reproduce at unsustainable rates. The sick and the weak that will naturally get hunted first, they are now competing for the same limited resources with a healthy deer. And with a healthy deer not getting enough resources, they'll become weaker. And with no predator in sight, they will become lazier as well. And then the genes passed on will be weaker. And as the deer population keeps growing and the sick individuals are not being dealt with, now disease starts spreading in the herd and the whole herd collapses and often the ecosystem around them. As humans, we no longer have natural predators that force us to stay fit and strong in order to survive. But no matter how many buildings and gadgets we'll build, we'll never be able to escape nature because we are nature. And nature made sure that he placed the predator in a place that we cannot escape. And that predator lives in us. And we have a name for it. We call it depression. And similar to the wolves, that predator first targets the weak, the sick, and the isolated. And only when I made a choice, and I mean, yes, choice, to accept this as a reality of nature, accept this as my reality, and no longer waste time and energy going with the, oh, why me? Why does this happen to me? And just accept that this is my natural predator. And its purpose is to remind me that I need to be fit and strong and connected. And in this exhausting process, it's never easy to outpace my depression, I managed to build for myself a life that I'm proud of that I wouldn't even think it's possible. And that only happened because of my depression, that the same energy that was supposed to pull me back or hold me down, it's an energy that I choose to harness to push me forward. They say that perception is a reality and that's how I choose to perceive this, that I, my depression is there to remind me that I can do certain things better and I can be better and is ultimately making me a better person. And if there's one message that I will always try to push and talk about, despite of how much resistance I take, is by taking accountability and ownership of your struggles, your struggles can become your superpower. Protect your peace.